everyone, Miss Butt here with today's PSHE lesson. I hope you're well. I hope you're keeping safe. And also, I hope you're remembering to be nice to one another. If you remember last week, we learned all about respect. This week, we're learning about communities. Your LO today is, can I explain what a community is and what it means to belong to one? Your success criteria is, are you able to talk what's about what a community is? Can you identify who makes a community? Are you able to discuss how the actions of people affect the community they are part of? And finally, can you think of ways you can make a positive contribution to your community? Two questions here. I'd like you to have a piece of paper and a pencil or pen ready to answer these two questions. You may pause the video if needs be. So what is a community and what makes it what it is? Secondly, how can we contribute to your community? So pause the video. I want you to jot down as many ideas as you can, remembering full sentences and correct grammar. And a, that's right, a full stop. So where you write, a community is a group of people living or working in the same place. It is made up of people who live there or belong to it. I want you to think about who or what different people are part of the school community and what are the different groups make your local community. So I want you to pause the video once again and write down the different types of people that make the school community and the different types of groups that make your local community. So communities are diverse places. There are lots of different people and groups that are part of them. Diversity helps us to learn and grow as people. It is something to be celebrated, respected and valued. Making of a community. So all people, no matter who they are, where they're from or how they choose to live their life are equal. No one is more important, more special or more deserving than anyone else. All people have the same human rights and should be able to live a happy, safe, healthy and fulfilling life. It is all of our responsibility to make sure the rights of people in our communities are met and protected. And it's important to know that no one should take away our rights. If you notice this happening, or you see it happening to someone else, it's really important that you tell a trusted adult to make sure they get some help. The people of a community make it what it is. Their choices and actions can help. Make a community a positive place. They can also make it a negative one. I want you to think about what choices and actions would help the rights of people in our communities to be met. So what do you think they could do? And what choices and actions would hinder the rights of all people in our communities? I want you to take a moment and jot these ideas down. Pause the video if need be. It's important we all make choices which help communities we're in to make it happy and a successful place. We can choose to respect and embrace differences between us and stand up for equality. We can choose to be kind, helpful, thoughtful and selfless, thinking of the needs of others and not just of our own, because that would be selfish. I want you to take a moment. I want you to think about what do you think the term community spirit means? Jot it down. That's right, it means being involved and caring about the community you belong to and the people in it. It means acting in a way which helps those in your community and wanting to make it a better place for everyone to live in. I want you to have a look at these pictures. What's happening in them? How are the people contributing to their community? And how are the people showing community spirit? I want you to take a moment and I want you to write it down, labeling A, B, C and D for each picture. Pause the video if need be. That's right. So we can see someone helping the homeless. There are people planting things in the garden, people picking up litter and making sure that the community is nice and clean and a lovely place to visit, such in the park, and people painting walls to make sure that their neighborhood looks a nice place to live. 
So people make the communities to which they belong. We can all make a positive contribution to our communities by making positive and helpful choices and acting in a way which shows community spirit. So do you think those four pictures above show community spirit? Have you done any of those? So being part of the community, I want you to have a look at these pictures. I want you to have a look and what can you see? What do you think has happened? What are the people of the community doing to help? I want you to answer these questions. So what can you see? What do you think has happened? And what do you think the people in the community are going to do to help? That's right. So there was a flood. People have been stranded. So people set up a little soup kitchen or a little place where people were able to have snacks and a warm drink because it's going to be cold. And there's a lady hugging another lady. So she's thankful for those who have helped her. That is what we call community spirit. So we should know now what a community is and what makes it what it is. And how can we contribute our, to our community? How can you use what we've just learned today to make a positive contribution to the school community? I'd like you to note those down and make sure I want to see the things up on tapestry. Making a positive contribution. All people can positively contribute to communities they live and work in, making them a better place for all people and living things within them. How do you think you can positively contribute to your community? I want you to take a moment to think about this. Now you've thought about it, I'd like you to think about what I'd like you to do. I would like you to do make a community pledge. I want you to think about how you can help your community, not just the people where you live, but the school community. How can you help them create a community spirit where everyone could be happy and enjoy their lives? What I'd like you to do is put it up on tapestry, not just a written pledge, but I'd like you to say it. I want to hear you say it. I want to re I want to hear it recorded and I enjoy watching it up on Tapestry. I hope you keep safe and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>